My experience as a freelancer has been a roller coaster of highs and lows. But it has also taught me a lot about tenacity and diligence. When I first began, it was difficult for me to obtain clients. And I frequently had to put in long hours for little income. I persisted though, gradually expanding my network and reputation. I can now proudly declare that I have a consistent flow of clients and can bill at the rates I deserve. So would you go through the journey as a freelancer? Before that, have you ever used the most useful website called System.io? If you have or not you better listen to this. System.io is a fantastic platform that provides you with affiliate program management, marketing automation, website builders, sales funnels, email marketing, and various online courses that you can offer to your customers or clientele. To get started with System.io, be sure to click the link in the description box below to begin your trial on System.io. In order to get started, go to their website and click on Get My Free Account in the top right corner and include your email address in order to log into your account. You will be able to earn thousands of money with this website by engaging in any of these services available, the best thing about this is that this website is totally free. I invite all of you to join this site and make money with the many options available there. Okay now let's go to the main topic of my journey as a freelancer. Have you ever wondered how to get paid to travel completely independently? With the increase in remote employment, realization is now easier than ever. Being a mobile freelancer can be both thrilling and challenging. Even if you may constantly be traveling and exploring new areas of the globe, it's important to remember your professional commitments as well. Some people must work to earn enough money to travel while others like maintaining a healthy balance between their professional and personal life while they are on the road. How exactly does one start the process of seeing the world and earning money at the same time? What are the most effective ideas for getting paid to travel? Despite all, everyone wants money to cover the costs of necessities along the way, such as transportation, housing, and food. More than one-third of people now work as freelancers, making it more common than ever in recent years. Furthermore, folks aren't freelancing because they have to. Most people consciously chose the freelancing lifestyle. This makes sense when you think about the advantages and freedom that come with being your own employer. You've come to the perfect place if you're thinking about starting a freelance business or creating a side business as a way to break into the world of freelancing. Here, we go over the benefits of being a freelancer right now. Do you know, it might be quite hard to think of working as a freelancer without a permanent job. But do you know with time freelancing can be a very strong and high income source for you? Even though there is a risk, would like to discuss some of the mind-blowing benefits that freelancing and the benefits that attracted me the most. Flexible hours. The freedom to set the working hours that are appropriate for you is one of the main advantages of freelancing. In particular, having the freedom to choose your own hours can be appealing. If you have children, you may decide to work during their school hours and after they put themselves to bed. Incredibly entirely up to you if you decide to work on a Saturday as opposed to Wednesday because the weather is pleasant. In general, you have free control over where and in what manner you finish the work at your clients for as long as you meet the established timeframes. Greater Independence You have a lot more freedom as a freelancer than when you work for an employer, which is one of the benefits. You are essentially running your own business, and you have the last say on whom you accept as a fresh client, how much you charge per hour, and how many hours you work. Locational Flexibility as a freelancer, you may have the freedom to live wherever you choose and even travel while working because you aren't tied to a specific employer or boss. Even though you might need to be close to your clients if you work as a freelancer, you can get clients everywhere. Since a lot of freelance work is done online, you can work completely remotely from anywhere in the globe and move around as you like while doing it. Improved Skill Set when you work as a freelancer, you accept various jobs from numerous clients. Every project offers anything fresh and gives you a chance to develop new skills. As you proceed, you'll probably discover that you're learning new things. In a regular full-time job that might not necessarily offer ongoing learning and development, you can feel more stationary. As you work on a wider range of projects kinds as a freelancer, you'll have a lot of possibilities for development. 
When you work as a traditional employee, you frequently have a clear job description and don't frequently break from it. This could result in less opportunity for skill development and learning new things, and increased boredom at work. Self-management. Again, you are your own boss if you work as a freelancer. You decide everything about how you manage things, including your workload, timetable, dress code, and other factors. Still, working as a freelancer is not a holiday. You are responsible for making sure you maintain a positive client relationship, monitor your spending, look for new clients, and bargain prices. Keeping up with everything could need you to work more than usual some weeks and less than usual others. But ultimately, you have control over everything. I know now you might be wondering, don't we ever have any disadvantages of working as a freelancer? There are some disadvantages too. No employee benefits are provided to you. Benefits and perks are provided to employees as part of their contract of employment in many different nations. This could include paid time off, sick days, health benefits, paid opportunities for training and development, retirement contributions, and more, based on where you live. Since you work for yourself as a freelancer, you forfeit these advantages. It is up to you to arrange and fund your own health insurance. Your income can vary. In the beginning stages of developing your independent business, your workload could be unpredictable. When it rains, it sometimes pours, and you can be juggling several projects at once. Occasionally, you could not have any job at all. For new freelancers, this income flow variability might feel quite detrimental. But I can assure you that it won't always be so erratic because I've been a full-time freelancer for close to nine years. You will figure out how to rationalize your business spending, budgeting, and income such that it becomes more predictable as you gain more knowledge about your company. You might have some late payers among your clients. A freelancer's working existence will inevitably include clients who pay late. However, there are steps you can take to reduce the likelihood that customers may make late payments before you've even agreed to deal with them. Therefore, make sure that your payment terms are explicit in your initial contract with the client so that both parties are aware of their obligations from the beginning. So that the customer has no justification for not paying, try to accept as many alternative payment methods as you can. If you can add credit card transactions to this list of acceptable payment methods, try to do it. You might not earn a steady income. Finding work on a regular basis may be challenging unless you're established. Finding your first project might take a lot of time and effort, and even then it might simply be a temporary solution, requiring you to start the search all over again months later. Life as a freelancer can be a little more unpredictable than a typical salaried employment. You might make a lot of money some months, but little or nothing else. This implies that you must prepare in advance and determine the onset of the leaner months. In contrast to a conventional 9 to 5 employment, the amount of work you accomplish will entirely determine your pay as a freelancer. Remember, you are the only one who can decide on this. However, after watching my experience as a freelancer and the advantages and disadvantages, you might be able to decide whether freelancing is the best option for you. Thanks for being to the end of the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and tell us what you think about this video below in the comment section.